Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. Now I believe last time off, and my mouse disappears, last time off we were on our way to getting the Fleet Star into Drummond. But before we go, we're going to jump over to the Land Rover and we are going to do the Michigan Trail. Get that out of the way, get that done. Oop. Let's jump to the Land Rover first. There we go. There we are. Just going to mark them up. Sometimes it's just a little bit easier when hossing about. There we are. Beautiful. And then, if I remember right, we were going to take the Land Rover into uh, Island Lake. I think there was one or two things to do with it in Island Lake and then take it right through into Drummond because I believe there's one one or two things left to do in Drummond with a scout. So let, let's get going, let's get moving. We should have plenty of fuel. It should be all good. I want to try and crack on, get rolling, try and get as much done as we can. We were doing well for a little bit, making some progress, so we want to try and keep that up, if at all possible. There we go. Now, we were doing some of this sort of stuff quite recently on the on the Twitch series, sorry, as I talk about it a lot, but we were, and uh, I was in the, um, the little tuzz. A 166 and I was rolling everywhere it was fun because we kept landing on our wheels as well every time we rolled barreled rolled down land on our wheels and off we go again beautiful stuff but we're going to try not to not to barrel roll at all in the landy Usually a simple enough job, but as is often the case at the minute, the simplest of jobs are causing us the greatest of issues. I don't think there was anything we wanted to pull through with us when we went in. I'll check. I'll have a little look before we, uh, before we go into Island Lakes. Trying to swing that round so we can get a slightly better angle coming down. Yeah, we should have really done this a little bit earlier. I mean, it, in the grander schemes, it doesn't really matter when you do them because you know they take the same amount of time. And as we've well established now, in however many episodes, this is probably 30, 31, 32. This isn't well planned out, so it's not like I've I've missed out and had to backtrack and do. I've missed out things here, I've missed out <laughs> things in Drummond and in Island Lakes. So if I weren't so open and honest about forgetting about things, I could have said this was the plan all along. And as always, a massive thank you to uh, everyone still coming along, still supporting the series, still supporting our adventure here in Michigan. One day we will leave Michigan. You'd be surprised how how quick that day will approach as well. We've got some sort of smaller, simpler jobs, and then we get on to some some tax and deliveries, and then we get on to the large delivery. So it'll it'll soon come round, and, and then obviously it's the logs. <laughs> Always do my logs last. I think many people do, unless you really like log deliveries. I think a lot of people do their log deliveries last. We're not going to get through there. Ind indestructible spruce tree again. Oiled me. Oh, and again, apparently. There we go. <laughs> Give me that one. 
that one is allowed. Craziness. Gotta love it. There we are. Fully done, and that's uh, 1300 for us. Brings us up to 64 grand. <laughs> that's not a lot of money. <laughs> that's not a lot of money. Oh dear. Right. Let's see if we can try and get ourselves down here somewhat without dying. Nope, we're gonna die. It's okay. Promise it's okay. There we are. We call that a tactical roll. <laughs> Didn't sustain much damage either. Or any, I don't think. Mainly cosmetic. So let me just check. Should we grab a little of that fuel? I think the fuel trailer is right near us when we get there, but... Now, something I've spoken about before, about my terrain, not updating. You can see that groove running in that mud. That's where I dragged a scout trailer all the way through. Now, that was a week ago. I haven't been in this game for nearly a week, and it is still there when I load in. I ain't got much fuel in here either, oh my lordy. We have not got a lot of fuel. We've got a few big trailers. It's, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, but yeah, that's... The game has remembered it. It's there. If any anyone else has any sort of knowledge of what's, what's happening with that, why, why I seem to be uh, keeping it. I'm not against keeping it. If anyone knows why. Oh, we can pull this through. This can come with us. Because we changed our plans, remember? We were going to bring a lot of stuff through. And then I remembered I needed to do some stuff in Drummond. Forehand. Now we've got a scout here as well. But all is well. That's it. All right, just want to pull it through a little bit if we can. And we did, <laughs> we did all of the Michigan Trail, uh, rear wheel drive, no diff lock. Or oh, diff lock's always on. But yeah, that was sort of doing better off keeping it where it was. I know you don't have to move them out of the spawn-in area, but it saves coming in and getting the, uh, the skeleton view. Sometimes I forget whether we can actually connect these trailers or not. We can't. I'll do it. Right. So. We have. That's not us. A little help from my friends. That's what we need to do. So. We shall. We'll go in reverse. We'll take point five first. So I'm just going to mark it up. Just so I can go around and find them a little bit easier. There we are. So that's what we're going to do. And we've got fuel and everything along the way for those. Just want to check that I have got everything else. Got the trailer from up there. We dragged that. 
other thing we've got. Trailers there. We've got all the upgrades. Okay, that is absolutely fine. Let's go. Okay, much like Michigan Trail, this shouldn't be too much of a taxing task. First time I've got, I'll be doing it in reverse though. I've always, always done it in the actual order of like 1, 2, 3, 4, ABC, whichever it is. And there's always one turn that I miss and always end up having to back up on. So perhaps I'll, uh, I'll be more successful doing it in reverse. It's been a, while, been a while since we've been here. So if we can open her up a little bit now. And when we, next time we come through, we'll be looking to uh, get the lumber yard up and running, the sawmill. And then clearing out the drilling rigs, and we shall use the, uh, the twin steer for that. Not a truck that I use a great deal, so it's in here because it'll it'll take them. It saves us having to bring a lot of stuff through. But we'll probably come in here with the white western and a sort of four stop trailer anyway. Jeez. That was brutal. So we want our next left. See, I think that's a full one. So there's plenty, there is fuel about. Plus, we you know, obviously saw on the way in a big fuel tanker, and we've got a big fuel tanker in Drummond. I'm not going to have. <laughs> A third, or even a quarter of the fuel left over there that my friend Wesel has. Or had. But we shall do our best. Perhaps we'll have to mix up the order in which we go to the maps. I did say we might do that. And uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but I'll have to find out which one has the, the task of building... I think you build a gas station and then you can get free fuel. We might have to go there pretty early in our map playthroughs. That might just have to be a thing. Oh, I just want to check. We did go down here and collect, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Cruising through the woods. This 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 makes it a nice casual start to uh, days proceedings doing these two jobs, which is going to be welcome because once we do get the the fleet starting to Drummond, we've got some some big cargo to move about. some great opportunities to roll a truck that's definitely not going to land on its feet. So following on the track this way. He said quite confidently when he was wrong. Yep, should have gone left. That's alright, we'll find a way through it.
I mean, it's pretty much just a case of follow the track. Sometimes you lose it a little bit. You lose the track. This is the bit, that's the part that I normally shoot past if I come the other way around. I do like our big juicy Land Rover. Another job done, that's 1250, bring us up to 65,000 and another 70 on the XP. We're still at level 13, we've got quite a way to go for 14. But we are now heading out through into Drummond. I'm sure we have a couple of little challenges there. Or oh, we've got at least a challenge and a, a little task. Opportunity for a bit of ring cap here. Said so before I say again, I do enjoy the in cap. It's just, it always comes with greater risk, so that's why we don't do a lot of it in hard mode. Avoid the uh, stump cluster there. scout trailer yeah now I don't think that was to take into Drummond I think that was just to uh, have a little off every now and then there we go but if we do decide that we need the extra fuel in here just does not not extra fuel but just like an extra fuel point it's not a hard one to bring through, is it? So, what have we got left? Lost delivery. Now, in the, have we marked them all out? So, Cousin Cletus, that should have them out. Oil barrels. And uh, lost delivery, they should be out. So, that's fine. Ten hut, we've still got to do the bridge. That's what we need to come through and do as well. Uh, mud wrestling. Is one that we should probably be doing. And also, I forgot to trigger, which is annoying because it's all the way to the other side of the map. I forgot to trigger the silent observer, which is just to go up there and have a look. So we'll probably go and do the mud wrestling. Check well. Oh, we've got a trailer down here as well. So we've got a challenge here at this trailer. Which is going to be to drive across here. So we'll go and do that. On our route to uh, Mud Wrestling.
Now, in between lately as well, I've been playing a fair bit on my console while I'm, you know, with the kids and stuff. And when I, when I come on on PC and I get to just sort of absorb it, take it all in a little bit, the, the visual difference is like tenfold. I'm playing it on the... Um, I play on an Xbox One X when I play on console. And I play it in on a 4K monitor as well. And it still doesn't obviously live up to ultra settings on PC 4K. It's just beautiful. The game is beautiful. So when you get these quiet moments where you're just trundling around in a little scout, you can sort of enjoy it a little bit more. Less pressure, worry, not worried about load and not too worried about rolling and doing stuff. You stop and just just take in the view a little bit. It's good. And I think last time we were here with the landy, it wasn't it wasn't as beast mode as it is now. I think that's why we left uh, mud wrestling. I know I know we left mud wrestling for a reason, just because that can be a bit of a, a bit of a chill. And uh, I had initially forgotten about this little challenge about crossing the river. It slipped my mind when we were here last. Now, I've never not, <laughs> never not got across the river in doing this challenge. So, today will be the first time I ever slide off the rocks and land in the, uh, in the war. First time ever. Now, it's been months since I was last in Drummond, and you can see the, the terrain from where I've driven through prior still trying to fight its way through in the memory. There's a little scout trailer down here with some goods on as well. I think it's got some metal beams. I'm not going to pull them across the river. We probably could, but I'm not going to. We will need them probably for 10 hut. And then there's another task when we have to deliver elsewhere that requires similar goods. Alright. So let's go. just across the river. That's all it is. In fairness, it should be a walk in the park for our Land Rover, but you never know. You never know. We've only got hit hit something at the wrong angle once, like here. We're not taking that very good. See? I'm screwed. I've, I've actually sunk it. I told you that'd be the one time, the one time, I lose my truck. Confidence is a killer. That is dead. That is actually dead. Oh no. How far downstream is it going to drift? Well, I've never done that before. 
I have never done that before. To be fair, the snowball's keeping us going. If I can... Oh, now we're not. Now it's broke. <laughs> it's had it. The land over needs a full recovery. <laughs> I don't even know where it's, it's going to go to the... Uh, Oh dear. Come on, follow. Turn the wheels. Let's try and drift us to the edge. Whatever, ever next. I don't know if it'll keep drifting if I get out of it. Uh, you know. If I knew it would still go with me not sitting in it, I'd get out and we'd just jump to the fleet star and bring that through. But I'm trying to direct it over to the riverbed or to the riverbank. We're already on the riverbed. Oh dear. Might use that as a as a thumbnail. He might already know that we end up here. This is insane. I told you anything that is easy normally is just you know what pain in the bum. Don't roll, don't roll on me, don't roll on me. Turn the engine off. Yeah, it's off. Where am I going to end up? We are just a passenger. So I thought we were going to aim for that bank, but it has decided that that is not the way. Is we are. <laughs> Just uh, there. Just a passenger of the river current. Just let me direct it to somewhere. I'd like to be able to see if I can get my wheels. Where's my snorkel? Snorkel's coming up. Snorkels up, why is that? Shame. Shame, shame. We're just going to be drifting for a bit. Because I, th I think if I get out of it, it's just going to stop. And I need it somewhere where I can either drag it out and recover it, or where it's just going to, you know, reach some shallower water and the boots hit the ground. This is not what today was supposed to be, by the way. Not at all. 
Not at all. He's pretty chilled though. He's he's like, yeah, this is um, this happening. This is what we're doing. No, that is patience, my friends. That is patience. No panic. Like, it's, it's got a beach somewhere, hasn't it? You know? It's got a beach somewhere. Right. Now we've got enough parts to give it another little repair. Oh, we're all out. Now we're good, we're good. Now we're out. We're out. Okay. So, should we try that again? And this time, stay on the rocks. <laughs> Which way do I want to go through? There, yeah, that's fine. Okay, oh, this way. Oh, dear. Honestly, never be confident about anything in Snowrunner. As soon as you are. As soon as you think you're having a good day. All the turntables. <laughs> oh, the turntables indeed. Race with the rain, pick two. <laughs> oh dear. If it happens again, <laughs> well, I don't know. Like I say, I, I foreshadowed it. I knew it would happen. I've never done it before, so I knew it would go wrong. Not never done the task before. <laughs> never, never, never fell in the river before. Never in all my days. Because it's this easy. It's literally this easy. Even with a poorly tuned up CK, you can get through this on gold and have like a minute to spare. Oh dear. Too fun. <laughs> There we go, two grand. Got to be worth it. And we did, we did it in a minute. Now we can do that five or four more times, apparently. So, you know, you never know. We might. We might see, we might see how many more times we can land in the river. Now that trailer could possibly be the one we get for Ten Hut, or that could be the one that we use to... Uh, do other things with, but we are off mud wrestling, which is this way. Sometimes pulling this truck back through here with you is a nightmare. Always gets jammed. Always. And that's why I can't have like a, a planned itinerary of what we're going to do. <laughs> because things like that happen and consume way too much of our day. <laughs> Alright then. 
this to scale 800. You are coming with me. Oh, it's out of fuel. Should we give it some of ours? Just for convenience. Take it out of the camel. There you go. I once tried to do this with something much bigger. I can't remember what it was. Probably uh, the Fleet Star. Or, an, or the A. It might have been an A and G. Um, and yeah, I just ended up over there fanning around for ages. I think I tried to put it on the back of the Fleet Star on its bed. That's what I tried to do. <laughs> and it just couldn't get the truck back, let alone the, uh, the scalp. That was a while ago. Honestly, I've tried to do absolutely everything I can with that, that fleet star. Love it. Again, should be pretty smooth sailing from here on out, but there's always a chance. I always like to try to take this over here, much better traction. like a little, little track up there. Could possibly be some shortcuts through there. I've never tried, and I'm not going to try today. I will say there could be a little, a little single strip track. Teasing. I'll go back and have a look on one of my other saves. There's no doubt, sometime in the future, I will restart and have to do Michigan again. It's just what I do. When we first started this series, I'd only just sort of left Michigan. Well, actually, as I was recording the first few episodes, I was still in Michigan on my um, Twitch stream series. And in the time that it took for us to get this far, we've completed Alaska and are ready to leave the first map in uh, time air. And that's why I often say in that series while we're streaming, like, it doesn't matter what I do there. Everything, I will have forgotten most of it by the time I get there. And because we're doing that on normal mode with quite a few different mods and stuff, although well, I've sort of reduced the mods in that, but I'm going to change some stuff as we go around and using a lot of DLC. So it, anything that we do in that series, other than, like, learning where some, where some things are, it's sort of pretty irrelevant to the success and the planning of the hard mode series.
take whatever fuel there is out before we get in there. Thank you very much. Another job done. 1200. Slowly getting in pennies. 140 on the XP. Like I say these are some simple ones that we should have had ticked off earlier on. So they're, they're not going to make a, a big dent in our progression here. So I want to go left and I want to hit that. What I need to do. Yeah, I can, as we as we shot in here and shot out of it again, I completely forgot. I think at one point I even commented on we need to go up there and, and do that, or that I thought we'd missed it. And then I, again, like I say, on the way out the from and I completely forgot to trigger it again. Now this little bit will uh, this will have your suspension. Ask us to pick up the two bits of lost uh, oil. That's what it's on the oil tankers. Yeah, the oil barrels. There we go. So all we've got to do is uh, I'll read it. You're probably tired of hearing how bad how yeah how bad the weather's been, but let's be honest, it's also feathering your nest. One of the observation points. Went silent in the last storm. Can you head out there and see if it's okay? So we'll start tracking. Oh, a little bit of engine damage. Hey, we've been uh, we've been a boat today. Engine damage is uh, is a thing now. <laughs> it was, it was like living out an episode of Top Gear. That's what that was. Can a Land Rover be a boat? Sort of. We sort of had our Land Rover as a boat. can sneak through those trees and out the back but we are not don't fancy getting stuck and having to oh, actually we could we could go right here though that is a nice simpler shortcut there we are there's plenty of them about to keep your eyes peeled One job that I I struggle to enjoy because it's quite a challenging one is coming back through here with the oversized cargo that you get from the wrecked ship. 
this part of the trip is all right. It's the first part. I dislike that contract a lot. Luckily, we've got a few more things to do, but I have to really worry about it. But it is fastly approaching as something to do. Now, I think those of you that watched the early days when we went out scouting. Um, you might even recall that I, came, I did come out here, I think, and, and said, oh, I'm sure we're supposed to trigger something up here. I forgot to pick it up. There we are, 650 notes and a 40 XP. That's our view. Not so good at night. But our view nonetheless. Now, when we're not having a bad day, I am partial to a bit of a tactical roll down this hill. But I don't think we'll be doing that. We've already had one tactical roll today. And a trip upstream. Now we can sneak down here if we're lucky. Trial will check on there. have some fun. We've got off-road vehicles. I mean, it's all off-road, but, you know, we've got these off-road vehicles for a reason. Let's, let's take some risk. So something that I might do is go and connect to that uh, scout trailer that was near that crossing that we had fun doing. Connect to that and um, bring that sort of more into play when we uh, when we need that. Could even because Ten Hut is already asking for it, so we could actually do that. That's where it goes. We've got the turn the map round. Yeah, metal beams on here. I think we can't pull this. Well, we could pull it, but. Yeah, that's got the uh, concrete slabs. When we come through, we can uh, grab them. And then you have the next lot of metal beams and concrete slabs there. There's metal beams there as well. Is there another concrete slabs? It's on this one. There is metal beam and concrete slabs because I'm sure there is something that asks us to deliver metal beams and concrete slabs. 
later on somewhere. So you can take it all loosely off the individuals or take that one trailer through. So we'll, when we do it, we'll probably do it with the uh, the singles. We're going to bring the fleet style through so we can load one up on the bed and then pull the other trailer through. Where's our service trailer? We already took that through. Must have done. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, definitely did. We'll run that fuel, that's what that is. Was wondering why we were slowing right now. The vehicle was just letting me know it was hungry or thirsty. So I did wonder if we were going to drift all the way down to here. <laughs> I thought that was going to be my out. Missed it by a mile there. So we have a choice, we could just unpack it and then come and collect it. With the fleet stamp, put it into its back, or we can just sort of pull it through. I think that might be a little bit wider than that, so I'm going to go round.
Yeah, I'll go. Give it a little weave. Those poor tires behind are just sunk in, aren't they? No doubt that burnt some fuel for us. Those melt beams are weighty. What sort of time have we got left? Oh, we've got an hour. We've got a few minutes. Let's see how close we can get. because I'm in auto. I think we'll just get it across the river and um, set it to unpack and then load it into the fleece style when it comes here because that little trailer does not like going through mud. Clearly. Unload it here. And we shall quickly jump to our fleet star. There we are, we are back, and I'm going to call that a day, I think we've probably got about ooh, 10 minutes, so yeah, we'll call that a day, and the next time out we'll be getting the Fleet Star into Drummond Island, and we'll work on the bridge, we'll go and collect up 
the cargo containers and hopefully go and get the uh, fuel that's lost out there. We probably aren't going to do it all in one episode, obviously, but that's that's going to be the plan of what we do next. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. <laughs> A little comedy of errors there in between, but stay calm, relax, and we got out of it, which is what it's all about. Now, the next episode may not come next week. There might be a week's break, uh, just because we've caught up with what I had um, on the schedule and got quite a few things coming up over the next sort of few days, week, and recording time probably isn't going to be where it sometimes is. So hopefully, um, yeah, if I take a week, I'll try and get a few of them on the schedule again, and then we'll get back going. But that's all right with everyone. There will be other stream uploads will still be going out, and we're going to try and get back to Expeditions, because that took a little hiatus for a couple of weeks, just while we've been doing other things and balancing stuff out. And we don't want that to become an obsolete series, so we want to get back to that as well. Um, obviously, I have too much going on and not enough time to do it. We will juggle it, and I will make it work. But thank you for the support, and um, hopefully I will see you again soon. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff if you're new. Comments down there. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.